Hi everyone, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat and this is Dr. Venkatesan. Today's video we are going to see about an interesting topic, how we can use our SBC and MCU unit to send an email to the end devices like your computer, laptop or smartphones. This demo is going to be used Cisco Packet Tracer. So here I am going to my work area. So for that I am in need of first SBC. So click your component, you will get these three devices SBC, MCU and a normal thing. First I will show you how to use this SBC for sending an email by using Python program. Later I will tell you how to use the same concepts with MCU also. So SBC as I told you many times SBC is nothing but Raspberry Pi and MCU is like for example Arduino boards, controllers boards ok. And followed by that I am in need of uh, local area devices like switch and then I am in need of router and uh, I am in need of server and uh, for example I am in need of one PC ok. So these are all the devices with minimum setup I will explain you. So this is my PC let it be PC1 and this is going to be my switch 1 and this is going to be my server ok. Now I am going to give the connections to all these devices and click the connection icon and uh, choose control automatic because you have to give more connections here. So switch to server, switch to your router and switch to your PC ok and uh, switch to your SBC but once you click SBC you will get an error message the cable cannot be connected to that port because we don't have by default we don't have any fast ethernet cable or port in your SBC. Let me check give escape go to SBC go to config tab here in interface uh, you can see here there is no fast ethernet interface right. So through that only you can connect it with your switch or if you are using home gateway you can connect your SBC through wireless mode but now I am going to use my switch to connect this SBC so I am in need of here fast ethernet port. So how I can enable fast ethernet port means go to your physical tab. So in this physical tab you can add your fast ethernet uh, port here. So in here modules you choose this one PT that is packet tracer IOT NM network module 1 CFE. If you click this you could uh, see the description here single fast ethernet port. So just drag and uh, we have to put it here ok. Once you add that module here if you go to config and here you will get the fast ethernet port. Now click connection switch to SBC yes now SBC connected with your local area network ok. Now I am going to configure this network and this server is 192.168.1.100 1 is my server IP slash 24 and uh, this uh, router IP router actually no need just for namesake here I am creating and 168.1.1 1 .1 slash 24 is needed and uh, first of all go to server desktop IP config 192.168.1.100 1 class C so 24 bits 255.255.255.0 and gateway is 192.168.1.1 1 .1, and the same server is going to act as a DNS also. So give the same server IP in your DNS also. And first you go to your services you have to give your DHCP service so enable it and here uh, edit the existing pool itself. So here 192.168.1.1 1 .1 is my default gateway and DNS server is this server IP so 192.168.1.100 and the starting IP should be 1.2 because 1 you already plan to give for your default gateway so start your IP from 1.2 that's it and save it. So once you click the save here it will be updated ok. Then for example uh, here go to DNS so now I am for email resolvement your local area network should have your DNS server ok. Then only your email should be resolved ok. So first I am creating 
the DNS domain name. So enable your service and uh, here I am creating a domain name called let it be cisco.com and uh, this is going to be my address. So this server is going to act as a, uh, this domain server. So 192.168.1.100 just add this one. Okay. Why I am here giving cisco.com let you know if you go to your SBC go to programming tab okay here as I told you by default all SBC and MCU comes with the program called blink okay now we have to create a python program for email okay so now go back click new button here and here this is my email program so here in the template if you track down this you will see there are so many programs java program python and visual basic right so if you move down just move down and first it starts with javascript program and in inside javascript you can see there are so many programs available available for blink digital analog udp like that if you move down here you can see that javascript for your email we can choose any uh, language based email service suppose if i am preferring python program go to python scripts and if you move down here you will have your python email just click this one and this is your file name and click create once you click create here that python program gets created if you go to main this is the default program of your python okay no need to create and all it is inbuilt if you wish for your scenario for your pro for your topology you have to edit this one now i am not going to edit anything i am just want to show you how to run the script later next video i will put this email notification email alert with the combination of some sensors like temperature sensor if room temperature or your server room temperature or if you are in some production company that production unit temperature is exit some threshold value then you need some email alert kind of things then that stuff could be easily accomplished by using this kind of script okay but now i am going to do just a demo of this existing script okay this is the python program and here the packages this email is a package for making your mcu or sbc to send an email and this is the time for delay purpose and here i am having three methods you know that def is the method creation in python so three methods one is on email receive on email send and main method okay in the main method i am declaring this sbc's input so this email this SBC is going to be an email client. One email client is this SBC and another email client is your PC. Okay. So in that assumption, this SBC, I am making it as the username or that your email ID, this SBC email ID is mcu at cisco.com. So your domain here predefined cisco.com. You can change it also, but let it be cisco.com. So your email ID, this SBC's email ID is mcu at SBC. If you want to change this MCU into SBC, you can change it. Okay. And the first is your email ID, and second is your domain name, and third is your username, and fourth is your password. Okay. This is the inbuilt script. So I am just explaining the coding. Okay. This I am declaring this uh, device as a email client. So these are all the parameters I am declaring. Okay. After that, inside the main method, here email client is a class name and it here i am invoking a method called on receive by a that by a parameter called on email receive parameter okay then this method will invoke this definition method definition and here i am receiving three values one is sender subject and body okay three values here i am receiving through these parameters and here i am just printing who is that receiver received from which sender and what is the subject and what is the body if this is the sbc i am receiving some message from which sender subject what is the subject and what is the body of that content of that email okay if i am sending an email suppose if this sbc is sending an email so here i am having a status only one parameter here i have invoked it so whenever if you are sending an email this method will get executed 
if you are receiving an email this method will get executed okay so while sending status you will get set status in the sense whether your status of sending is success or failure that's it so send status here you will get a message okay followed by that this is a very important uh, statement to send an email so email client dot send if this sbc is sending an email this statement will execute at first so sending to whom means pc at cisco dot com this is the second email id so this mcu this sbc is sending email notification to the pc at cisco dot com with the hello as subject and world as the body content of your message so these are the three values so sender subject body like that pc hello and world and here while true this loop will iterate infinite number of times for every 5 seconds okay and here i invoke my main method so this is the general explanation now what we have to do we have to create two users one for mcu and another one for pc with the domain cisco.com and the password of your mcu is password and username is mcu so i am going to server first go to email now i am going to create a domain name domain name we know that cisco so cisco.com here i have created the exact domain and user i have two user one is mcu so this is my mcu or sbc you can but here they by default they have given mcu okay and uh, password is password so just copy it password okay and click press button and that user added here and second user is your pc so pc is your username pc and uh, let it be the password same pc just add it okay in this domain domain i am having two users as per this python program okay and uh, as i told you before the dns is mandatory you have to resolve your domain okay where is the domain you have to resolve it so here you have created that's it now router cli no enable configure terminal interface fa0/0 ip address 192.168.1.1255255255250 and give no shutdown command end wr2 write it now go to your pc and desktop request for dhcp and uh, let me check yes dhcp i got the basic configurations and go to your sbc also and in the config tab go to your fast ethernet and request for dhcp yes i got it so now your sbc also got a dhcp through your server now what i have to do this sbc in the program you have initialized your account right by the python program itself we have initialized the account what, what is my domain name what is my username password and email id we have initialized but for pc we have to tell what is the username and password so go to desktop and here you will have a email so here you have to initialize so my you uh, name is pc and email id is pc at cisco.com and your mail server is your server ip so 1.100 and outgoing is also same whatever email you are sending and receiving only through this mail server so this is your mail server and here you have to give your username username is pc and password is pc which you have given it in the server so as of now no emails here okay. this side and uh, this is your output and this side i am going to make my pc so these two are the devices going to communicate with each other so parallelly i am taking it up okay now run the script so now once you run the script here you will get the status number 2 2 means which you have sent it already so here go to your pc and click receive see you got a here uh, this pc got a email got an email so double click it so from which device it got an email means from mcu@cisco.com and uh, two is this pc and subject is hello and uh, content is world suppose here i am changing here instead of welcome uh, i am going to give so welcome and uh, here i am typing i am sbc 
okay and stop your execution clear your output and run it again so now your status is also two let me check go back and click your receive yeah i got the mail and uh, my subject now changed to welcome and the content is i am sbc so it is going to reply to this sbc unit so to mcu i am sending and subject is going to be welcome here i am thanks welcome you to i am pc like that if i am sending some message click send button and if you go back here send success and here you receive an email see from which date and here you get a message i am sbc okay clear so here you are getting a reply message and here again you can execute this script so like this these two devices can communicate with one another okay now i will show you with mcu also so go to your component and choose mcu and if you click mcu i am making this mcu parallelly let it be this side and uh, this side is going to be your sbc like your sbc go to programming create new here and here let me show you email in javascript sorry email in javascript let it be here email okay and create so here if you go here this is a javascript email both are logic wise same but implementation wise little bit different because java have different structures and uh, python is having different structures so according to that here we have different programs here but for email only so here setup is the main program which will execute and here i am going to set up my uh, client details here like here the same email client dot setup same thing here and here also on receive and on send and here also this function is going to receive three values same like here and going to print and the here also status here also status and here for sending and uh, here also sending so same like python and here it is the loop which will iterate this like that here it is a while loop okay and here this also going to iterate hope you understand if you like this video click like button and share with your friends and uh, subscribe this channel for getting more videos on this okay bye bye